What is shaking, everybody? Welcome back to the Warmaster channel. I am your host, Josh. Today, we're playing my favorite video game, Minecraft. We're playing my favorite mini game of that video game, Bed Wars. Playing on my favorite Bed Wars map. We're playing with my favorite texture pack, my favorite keyboard, my favorite mouse. My favorite thing to do is recording Bed Wars videos, and that's what I get to do today. This is going to be a real good day. It looks like Aqua just up and left. He went middle. Maybe he wants to rush bridge eggs or something. Power to him. If it were up to me, I would be rushing bridge eggs every Bed Wars game. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough to justify that goofy of a strategy, but I do respect it. Hopefully we can intercept his retreat attempts, get all the emeralds for ourselves. There's there's two ways to get emeralds in Bed Wars. One is to go to middle and do it yourself. You know, the American dream, so to speak. The other, I don't know what, what kind of government type does this instead, but um, you kind of wait for someone else to do it for you, and then you just... You steal, you throw them off the map, take their plunder for yourself. That's what I often prefer to do. And this is very quickly turning into another long form content video about how much that I love bridge eggs. <laughs> because with these eight emeralds, you can bet your behind that I'm going to be buying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bridge eggs. Count them up, count them down, count them sideways. It's so easy. Bed Wars is so easy when you have bridge eggs. Like Pink can't do anything about his bed being gone here. He can try. Absolutely nothing he could do. And why would he have any reason to suspect that he was in any danger at all? I was just chilling at my base, and on this map, you really don't have to worry. You'll pretty much always see them coming. Come on, man. It's too easy. No, oh, hi, Green. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna stay up there. That's fine. There is a bridge right to my base, which I probably should keep in mind. He's not gonna take it, though. He's gonna do all this weird nonsense. Okay, he's up. Uh, never mind. He was just fireballing the bridge. That's cool. There goes his bed. So he's in trouble. <laughs> he, he was so scared he dropped all of his emeralds. That's pretty funny. We'll go like this. He fell off by himself, and apparently my, my hit credit expired, so Blue's gonna go ahead and get the final kill for that, which is too bad. So I'm gonna be projecting above his wonderful face. Getting some free high ground here. He's gonna just boot me right into him. Hopefully I can pull off a, a sick Bed Wars combo. It's not gonna happen though. Unfortunately, I did lose, I think, three or four bridge eggs in battle, which happens, and that's an occupational hazard. But I did get my money's worth. Did uh, gain an absolutely ridiculous advantage in this game just because I spammed bridge eggs. It's it's honestly such an underrated strategy. <laughs> I would say it's not even funny, but it is absolutely hilarious how broken bridge eggs are. The single goofiest balancing change I can I, that that comes to mind was the day that they made bridge eggs. Was it one emerald? It used to be two emeralds each, and now they're one emerald. It's just, it's, it's absolutely busted and I love it. Bed Wars makes me so happy. Can I get a double hit? No? Unlucky. Dino the Dino is giving me Nick vibes. It may very well be a nickname. I uh, fell off into the void. He's goaded. He's awesome at the game. That's Bridge Eggs for you, ladies and gents. We're back for game number two. I've already made like four videos about how much I love Bridge Eggs, so I feel like I gotta switch it up a little bit. I'll decide to talk about something else. I just, I gotta wait for it to come to mind. What did I do this week? Oh, how about this? I'll talk about my experience at my very first rodeo. For those of you that couldn't deduce it, I'm a very, very proud American citizen. Something that I didn't know that I absolutely adore about American culture is the rodeo. I picked the absolute best time of year to go at it for the first time. I picked the 4th of July to attend my first rodeo, which took place in Montana while I was visiting my grandparents. GG, that blue guy. That's where I've been for the last two weeks instead of keeping my chops up at Bed Wars, which is why I'm pretty rusty right now. Although the viewer wouldn't know it because I was pretty on top of it with the pre-uploads, I will say. The big story that comes to mind from that day was, I don't remember if they just didn't announce it properly or if people were just expected to know or if they announced it and we just didn't hear it. Why are you, why are you coming over here? That was weird. My family realizes there's an auction taking place and we have no idea what it's about, but my uncle Eric decides that it's a good idea to put down $200 on literally we have no idea what it is. At the end of the auction, we come to find out that it's for the barrel racing. There's a bunch of high school girls that are really good at riding horses like around a triangle of barrels. It's the best thing ever. I can save my bed. We're good. We're good. I think he thinks he's sweaty, but he's not. He doesn't know he's bad at the game, but he is. And there he goes. See that? I mean, what was that? 
<laughs> that was my death stare. That was my special move, death stare. Anyway, apparently how they do barrel racer auctions, they start the auction with the racer that's the lowest seed, so pretty much projected to do the worst, which we were not immediately aware of. We were after we put down $200, or, or Uncle Eric did anyway. This guy is like actually sweaty. I might have to try, which I'm not looking forward to. So that's not good. That's actually, that's really bad. Oh boy, and I'm out of blocks. This is bad. This is, this is not good. We gotta go. There's a, there's a dude over. Oh, he's up there. <laughs> okay, this is bad. This is, okay, he's turning around. We're good, we're good, we're good. So come to find out, we bid on the very bottom seed of the, of the barrel racing, which we were just absolutely thrilled to hear, but it did make for the most dramatic barrel racing viewing party from our spot in the stands ever. We provided the whole town with entertainment. Everyone was cheering for us because even though she was the lowest seed, she had the lowest time of the first seven competitors, and there were eight total. So up until the very last barrel racing gal, we were in first place. Are you ready to go now? Let's go. I just need to aim. I just need to aim. And we're good. We're good. We're good. That made me incredibly nervous because I think this guy's pretty good. The barrel racer we bid on was beat out only by the very very last competitor and it didn't even matter because we still got the, the very long end of the stick so to speak no one ever talks about getting the long end of the stick it's always the short end of the stick this short end of the stick that but we got a steal because how the auction works is obviously the higher the seed of the barrel racer the more money that they'll they'll be valued at so even though we got second place we got a 40 percent share of the final total pot i say we it's really just my uncle eric because he's the only one that put money down i just feel like a part of it because i was so close to the action but i'm pretty sure we ended up getting way more return on our investment. I may be completely wrong about that because there's a good chance that they just give you your money back in addition to your winnings, which actually would make a lot of sense. So yeah, I don't know. So you can't win because I have bridge eggs. You just can't win. You lost. I'm sorry about it. You just, you lost. You lost. GG's. Bridge eggs are so good. They're so good. That's the barrel riding story. I'm gonna remember that moment for the rest of my life just because it was so exciting to watch like through all seven competitors. Yes, I got the pre-gap off and I'm getting absolutely demolished. GG, I'm out. Ah, GG. Okay, he deserved the win. He was better than me. But um, that's, I, I, I might just call it there. That's another Warmaster Bedwars video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and peace.